<laughs> yeah, good day, good day. How the hawk are you? Welcome to Rubber Land. Yeah, this is Unboxing Saturday. And uh, man, have I got stuff that kind of piled up on the desk. And uh, the yeah, so I've got a lot of stuff to uh, show you that I've gotten uh, lately. And um, I don't know where to start, so I'm just going to start right here. Hey, uh, I have talked about my friend Dave uh, Oshelm, and uh, he has uh, come up uh, to uh, Adams County Flea Market, and I've uh, visited him a couple of times. Uh, I, I met him at the uh, Diecast, the Fox Valley Diecast Club meets. Uh, good guy, uh, buys and sells stuff, uh, and uh, Hot Wheels is one of them. Uh, Matchbox Hot Wheels is one of them. So really cool uh, dude, uh, really helps me out. This is the latest uh, that I got from him. It's in a big old bag, and uh, yeah, we're going to take, uh, take a look at it. Let me get it out of the bag uh, here just a second. All right, bam, boom, there it is. Holy cow. Um, <laughs> yeah, just, you know, I love I love going and hunting for Hot Wheels um, and Matchbox and other uh, things Land Rover related. I love it. I love the chase. If you guys um, are, are collectors, you know how fun it is to go and find things. But sometimes, one, it's frustrating, though. It can be frustrating because there's nothing out there. Two, two is time. Uh, and I just, just, I just don't have the time right now. Uh, I'm busy in my life. Well, more of that to come here shortly, hopefully, in the next couple months before the end of the year. Uh, and then uh, three, I just, uh, there's guys, people that get out and about more than I do and more often than I do that can be quote unquote personal shoppers. Now, I, let me tell you about personal shoppers. Um, one, treat them right. Uh, you know, set your ground rules, tell them what you're willing to pay, tell them, you know, your guidelines and stuff like that. So it's a fair trade. Two, never, ever, never, ever, if it costs you, never ever cross or let your uh, personal shoppers down <laughs> because if you do you lose it you lose the opportunity of them finding and picking up stuff for you so um, yes uh, and, and this is coming from me your, your friend Dano the cheapskate I don't like paying for anything if uh, <laughs> well I pay but I want to get something for it. So if I can get the best price available like anybody, I will. Now, there is a point where you have to pay to keep a, a, a quote unquote relationship going and, and make it worth their while because they are doing a service for you. So so don't, don't um, think that they're doing this out of the kindness of their heart because on one hand they are, but on the other hand, this is a business or you want to make it worthwhile for them, okay? So there's a couple of things. Uh, get some people that will look out for you. Make sure you treat them right. If you go to eBay or um, Marikai or any other kind of thing, and then you have to pay shipping, okay? Come on, you know? And, you know, and if you know, you can still bargain with them. You can still work with them on... Uh, what, what you want to pay and stuff like that. But, you know, just be mindful that these people are doing a service for you, you know? So anyway, that's my <laughs> spiel on that. So a big thank you to Dave. Uh, and he does a great job uh, finding me stuff. I tell you, we're going to look at those later. Um, so the last time I went and saw him, it was in Adams uh, Flea Market. That's Adams, Wisconsin, which is a uh, city right next to me. Um, and uh, I actually found this guy from another uh, vendor, uh, three or four bucks. So that was awesome. Uh, yeah, he was the next table over. There's a lot more. The price of these things are, are on the upswing, so there's a lot more guys out there um, selling and, and stuff like that. So um, let's take a look at what we uh, what he found for me, and, and really thank you very much, Dave, for this. A really big thumbs up. These, like for instance, man, you can't find these anymore. And then you're going on eBay and you're paying a lot more money. 
Dave is a fair square shooter, you know, and he gives me a really good price on these, you know, versus the, the internet, eBay, you know, so yeah. All right, so uh, yeah, the latest greatest as far as the Matchbox. Here's the um, truck series for Hot Wheels, another great one. Excellent condition, he, he takes care. He's a, uh, I would say, professional when it comes to uh, uh, Matchbox and Hot Wheels there. Uh, all right, here's the uh, blue one. This is the latest and greatest one. Um, the the uh, Zamax is coming out shortly. All right, here is the red one. I think we're gonna have some duplicates and that's fine because that's what I, I do. And then I always check for um, errors. You know, I, I'm not an error collector, but boy, when I get them, I don't sell them. <laughs> so I don't know what you call that. So we got another uh, red one. We'll start a stack over here, red one. Here's some older ones. This is awesome. Uh, the tan Baja Blazers. Um, I don't know, what is this? 18, 19, 17. Holy cow. Boy, that's getting on. But uh, then here you go. Here's uh, another beautiful 2020, the Zamax. Yeah, we just did a thing about those. Uh, can't get enough of those. Um, they will always hold their value. Uh, all right, here's the uh, another one of the um, pickup service, uh, pickup series, excuse me. Beautiful trucks. I, I really love that. Um, uh, I call it a root beer brown um, metallic. Beautiful piece, beautiful piece. Yeah, so those are great. All right, so here's another uh, blue one. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, I just can't wait. Oh, the other thing, too. Um, that uh, is coming out is the pre premier, the premium uh, one, uh, Fast and Furious. So we had the uh, 110 hard top. They're going to do that in this one. So that that's going to be awesome. All right, here's uh, two uh, more of the uh, red. That is just a nice plain red. I like that. Just a nice plain red. So we got a couple of those. Uh, then what do we have? Oh yeah, these were nice. I was kind of um surprised or whatever that he came out with these too um awesome you know uh i've done a video on these and you know and i've um, voiced my displeasure i guess that this is the same model in different packaging come on guys at least you could put the land rover land rover logo on the back just for you know Hey, you put it in uh, in a different packaging, but uh, it's a cool series. I didn't collect anything else or more of it. Here's one that I'm really excited about him getting for me. Um, was the moving parts, the 2018 Range Rover Vogue SE. Yeah, I think I found one of these. I did the video on it and I opened it and I have not found one since. Bam, that's hard to swallow. So yeah, here you go. This is another good reason why you keep uh, these uh, hunter uh, personal shopper guys on on uh, the payroll. <laughs> so you sound like a mafia guy or something. But yeah, so awesome. That is awesome. And then uh, the last here, he got, um, he got these here for me. This one, yeah, he told me right away, yeah, this one's got a blistered busted blister but you know he knows me I buy anything and everything and and this is going to be uh you know whatever an art project or something uh later so I, I don't worry but the green one yeah that uh British green is an awesome one hard to come by and then the white one yes I just uh lost out on a bid on like six or seven oops sorry six or seven of these on eBay and they were a pretty good price as a group you got to pay for you know more trucks you know more for you got to pay more dollars but you get quite a few and they were loose but i just found out the other day i got outbid for that but that's all right that's all right i found enough of those in the wild all right the uh, kind of a bonus here is um i got some other ones that i bought from him just because they were new and hot um here is a new one i got a buddy of mine old friend of mine he's a Toyota Land Cruiser RJ and uh, I bought a couple one for myself just you know for 
poops and giggles and um, you know and uh, keep that maybe I'll keep them I don't know they're they're coming off with quite a few of those it's a nice sharp looking model uh, for a Toyota and then uh, this I had to buy this yep yeah I had to buy one of these uh, the flap and everything and everything the uh, Tesla cyber truck uh, so I had to buy another one of these just just because so awesome cool thanks thanks very much Dave you are uh, a, a true friend that can help out uh, the uh, Roverland um, collection. So, all right, there you go. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Come on over to Facebook. Show me what you're finding. And, uh, yeah, just have a great, glorious rest of the Saturday. And we'll catch you later. This is your friend Dano signing off. And remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.